heard several years ago. Well, at least get the right chords. Thank you. I, I first heard her um, singing with her group Legacy, and, and I said to her, you don't, you don't have a voice, you have a weapon. I mean, here's this little tiny thing in this, it's like the Bose radio, you know, this little tiny thing in this big sound coming out of it. At that time, she wasn't really writing music. And she started writing after that, and she has more than 40 musical and video awards and acknowledgments since 2002. She's won multiple nationally acclaimed songwriting competitions, including the Hollywood Music Awards, Music to Life, Breaking the Silence in Song, Wildflower Music and Arts Song Competitions, New Zealand Peace Song Competition, <laughs> the Nobel Prize for Literature, well, that, that's not funny. She got a million bucks for it, so I don't know you guys are laughing at it. She has been hailed... You can put a roof on this place now. Yeah, she's been hailed by pop star Michael Bolton as an amazing artist and spirit. Let me please present with Sue Cunningham, Ellen Buxtel.
I wrote a song for my daughter. Very long story behind it. So you'll have to come to my concert here on uh, March 17th with my brother Gary to hear the story. Good marketing. My children lost their dad about 25 years ago, 23 years ago. He was a hemophiliac and he died from AIDS. He contracted AIDS through his blood products. He and his brother both died. So she never got to really know her dad.
It's a real good place to some bass. Is that what you said? We're <laughs> selling drugs where? <laughs> so this is a song that I send out to, wait a minute, what happened to the lights? <laughs> there is a part in here for you. We go close enough for folk music, right? So this is a song that I wrote for um, all you beautiful women. It's a song, it's the story of my life. And uh, I think this is a good night for it because um, I'm happy it's a story of my life because it's called, and you'll know when your part comes, okay? It's called, is it hot in here or is it me? <laughs> well, my hormones have been raging for quite a while. Know that I am aging and I'm gonna go in style. The minute I'm laughing, the next one I'm in tears because the magazines I'm are confirming all my fears. Is it hot here? Or is it me? My family thinks I'm crazy as can be. Well, my thermostat is broken. It feels like 103. Is it hot here? Or is it me? Well, I saw my friend Susan just the other day. Said that she was feeling exactly the same way. With hot flashes all the time. I said I'm on the verge. Honey, that's not a hot flash. It's really a power surge. <laughs> is it hot here or is it me? My family thinks I'm crazy as can be. My thermostat is broken. It feels like 103. Is it hot here or is it me? part, but that's your part. <laughs> Ready? Nice and loud. Well, they say that my libido is likely to decline. Insomnia at night sweats make me tired all the time. Wrist designer estrogen the doctors could prescribe. But recent tests are showing that the rats did not survive. Feels like a hundred and three, is it out here? Or is 
in me. This is not a midlife crisis. Or empty nest syndrome. It's just my body changing into something quite unknown. They used to call us crazy, but... <laughs> never knew the cause. Well, it's our rite of passage and... It's called... Everybody. favorite song in the whole world. <laughs> Robbie Greenberg, stand up and take a bow. Hey, and we hope by the end of the song it will be your favorite song of all time, too. These folks have never heard it.
Well, I didn't care. Now there's nobody there, no one to speak out for me. Bye.